<laughs> so pretty good. <laughs> this is what they referred to, I think, as the trench gun, <laughs> or that might have been the 1911. I can't remember now, but sure. um, it's the model um, Winchester 97. Okay. They used it in World War One. Okay. And. I think it's a great gun, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the gun, there's a 170 for safety. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about breaking the 170 on the line because I'm standing like this. Oh, sure. So when I pull it out and then I holster. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> And I would, and it's always like two hands, two guns. Sure. A replica 45 long Colt. Like 1873. Okay. Okay, so when we shoot, we always carry it like this. Sure. So that we know it's safe. Mm -hmm. And it's habitual fingers out of the trigger guard. Mm -hmm. So when we're ready to shoot, let's say we're going to shoot a string of five targets and you just load end of breach and the most important thing about all of this is when you pick it up you have a nice when I dry fire I have this nice I do this I just practice like this and I stare at a point on my thumb or something so that I'm always with that so when I pick this up, I'm going to fire it. So okay. if I pick it up, I'll pick it up like this. Just oh, okay. And then. And so how many times uh, do you fire one? one gun during a match like that. In the wild bunch sport, what we typically do is, because it's a heavier gun, heavier, well not so much a heavier gun, but heavier ammo, we fire anywhere between five and up to ten 